Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Diane and I am a designer and illustrator. I create a lot of uh, digital design tools and resources for creative people, entrepreneurs, small business owners, and I also sell products um, on Creative Market. They're all digital products, um, uh, graphic templates, Photoshop brushes. Um, and so in this particular video, I'm really excited to share my newest product. It's called the Boho Landscape Creator. And if you can see here, they're actually 10 pre-made layouts, uh, so you can mix and match the shapes and the different colors. So I've included a bunch of uh, really cool templates to help you get started. So all of the elements that you see here are all included in this product. And I give you examples of how you can use this. And then in this video, I'll kind of walk you through how to use some of these elements. So there's also two different color palettes and texture sets that you can mix and match for all of these different shapes. So there's also three different scattered patterns. And then it comes with 13 different landscape shapes that you can mix and match. You can use the pre-existing uh, templates that I've provided in this product. There's about 10 Photoshop files. And then also you can create your own however you want. Also, this product includes a set of different shapes, sun, moon, and star shapes that you can kind of mix and match, put it into your own templates as well. So yeah, these are just some examples that I show on how to create your own templates. So let's go ahead and dive into the files. All right, so once you download the files from Creative Market and unzip the files, you're gonna see that there's a bunch of different folders. There's gonna be a folder for Color Palette 1, and you'll see their JPEG textures, and I'll show you how to add them into Photoshop. I also have a pre-made template that they're also in separate folders in the PSD file, so you'll see that as well. But I just kinda wanna walk you through what this product includes, and and then all the different landscape shapes. And then I also include a vector illustrator file in case you wanted to make more, you know, landscape shapes or modify the existing ones. And then I've also saved them as separate PNG file shapes. So you could just start using them and placing them in your compositions. And then you'll notice that I do have a folder for JPEGs. You'll see all the, the different compositions they are ready to go. So if you wanted to use them on something, you're more than welcome to do that. And then there's also one layout. It's a PSD layout. And unfortunately, the files are a little too big. What I've done is I've included a Dropbox link that I include with this product. So you can go ahead, click on this Dropbox link. And what it will do is bring you to my Dropbox account. And you'll see all of the Boho Creator layouts. Yeah, the files were just a little too big to upload onto Creative Market. So I've included a link here for you if you did want to download the full PSD uh, Photoshop files. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. So where you're actually gonna start is you're gonna go to this Sunrise Boho layout. It's one and two. So I've already gotten that open here in Photoshop. Once you open the PSD file, you'll kind of see a bunch of different folders with different files in it. You'll see these pre-made color palettes so you can use the eyedropper tool to color sample whatever color you want to use and then you could just turn these layers off so that you don't see them in your composition as well and then also if you check this out uh, color palette I do have a bunch of the color palette textures that I've already inserted into uh, this PSD file so you can walk through them and look at all the different ones. So to get started, I just wanna walk you through one of the layouts I made and it's pretty straightforward. So I have a texture here that I created as a clipping mask. So if I turn off this layer, you can see that they're just regular shapes, right? So if I wanted to insert a different landscape shape, what you would actually do is you would turn on the, I would turn this off. So. Uh, for this one, I would just turn off the um, actual layout and I would make a new group and then add layers there for a new composition if you kind of like want to make your own. Um, and so here are the landscape shapes. Um, so once you've chosen the one, the shape that you like, you can go ahead and press Command J 
on your um, keyboard. And what I would do is to drag the copy that you made down to where you want it. And then here's the fun part. And so now we want to choose a texture. So for example, I'll choose this color here. So I'll do the same thing. I'll press Command J to duplicate the layer. And then we'll bring it down here on top of the shape. And uh, what we'll do is we'll right click the texture and we're gonna click on create clipping mask. And of course, don't forget to turn off um, the landscape shapes. And then now you have the shape with this texture on it. Okay, so now I also want a sun or one of these shapes so we can turn on these shapes right here. And let's just say, for example, we wanted the radiating sun. Uh, so we'll go ahead and press command J and drag this layer down to where our composition is and then we'll go ahead and turn off this folder so we don't see it and then you can press command T to move it wherever you want. Also um, let's say I wanted to add a texture on this and I wanted to add this one so we'll go ahead and press command J we'll drag it down here on top of the radiating solid. Don't forget to turn off this folder so that you don't see it. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll right click, control click on a Mac or PC on the texture layer. And then we'll go ahead and create clipping mask. And then you should be able to see that. And if you wanted to move the shape, I would click on the actual shape layer. And then you can kind of move it around. If you wanted to, you could move the layer uh, for the texture around so you can kind of get a different look if you wanted to do that. Let's say I wanted to drag in a texture. And so what I'll do is I'll turn on this layer here. I'm just gonna turn on this color layer so you can see some of the different texture patterns that I have. So there's one where this is like a large scatter, medium one, and then a small one. So say I wanted the small scatter. So let's go ahead, click Command J to duplicate the layer. Don't forget to turn those off. We'll go ahead and drag it down here. Let's say I wanted this to be on top of the mountain shape, but above the color texture. So what you could do is you could drag it below so that it creates the clipping mask automatically. And then what I would do is drag it on top. There you can see the texture is right on top of the color layer. And then you can kind of like mess with this. You can lower the opacity if you wanted to, so that it's a little bit more subtle. You could even go in and double click the layer and you can go to color overlay. So if you wanted to have a different color like gray, you can definitely do that. And you can see right here, the scatter uh, texture, it's a different color, but I wanna keep it at white. So I'll go ahead and just do that there. But yeah, this is super fun. You could just play with it. And then also if you wanted to create a background layer, I would create a new layer below the group. Also, if you wanted to create a background color for this, you can go ahead and create a new layer below. I would click on layer adjustments down here and click on solid color. That way you can choose whatever color you want for the background. But yeah, so here you can choose any color that you might want. So I'm just going to choose something that's super subtle. And then if you don't like it, you can always change it around to something different. And then also if I wanted to do another landscape shape, I could just go back to my landscapes and then choose the shape that I want. So say I wanted something on the right here to kind of like balance it out because I don't like compositions that are too even. I think compositions look interesting when there's just different shapes. So say you wanted this one on the right side. So what I'll do is I'll press Command J again on my keyboard. I'll drag that layer to where I want it. So say I did want it behind the foreground and then choosing another texture for this one. Say I wanted a different color. Let's say I wanted this one. So we'll go ahead and press Command J to copy it, turn off the layer above it, and then we'll drag it down here, and then we can right click on our keyboard to create clipping masks, and there you have it. So yeah, this is super fun. I thought that this would be a fun product to create. I'm seeing so many trends out there right now for 
uh, landscapes. And if you have any other ideas or any suggestions you think to improve this product or any new products that you'd like to see me create, please feel free to reach out. And if you haven't subscribed before, consider subscribing uh, to my channel. I'm going to be more consistent, I promise, to creating more videos for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.